Hello everyone and welcome to the ATEC channel. Today we're going to introduce you to a topic that could revolutionize the world of transportation and energy. You often hear discussions about global warming, but not so often do you hear about concrete solutions, right? Well, you should know that Germany is taking a very serious look at the subject. The country aims to produce green menthol. According to them, this is a fuel that could save us. But where does the interest for the gas come from and how can it be produced? Stay until the end of the video to find out. So, for some time now, green menthol has become the most serious alternative to gasoline. In addition to being responsible for the emission of greenhouse gases, it is predicted that no longer will be in a few years. Indeed, many countries are now trying to find solutions. Some have even resorted to synthetic oil. But in the face of global warming problems, the list of alternatives to fossil fuels is reduced to just a few names. Green menthol is one of those solutions that can contribute to the reduction of greenhouse gases in the environment. But, where does Germany's interest in this type of fuel come from? To answer that question, we must first understand how it's produced. Let's go. A project to produce green menthol was recently launched in Luna, Germany. It is supported by Total Energies, a manufacturer of Sunfire cells, but also by two other key institutions. The Fraunhof Center in the Chemical Biology Processes and the Fraunhaus Institute for Microstructure of Materials and Systems. As a result, Toto Energies is currently able to produce around 700,000 tons of menthol per year. This is done from fossil fuel feedstocks in Luna and it has become the largest producer of menthol in Europe. This project is a critical step towards climate neutrality. To achieve this, a combination of three innovative processes has to be tested. These include the use of CO2 from the refinery, the use of green hydrogen produced by high temperatures, and the synthesis of menthol. Menthol is a fuel synthesized from hydrogen and carbon monoxide. This is a more concrete approach to reducing greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. In fact, the oxidation of carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, contributes to global warming. Carbon dioxide is produced by most industries in the world. Many countries have a system for recovering the environmentally harmful gases into their storage. It is this gas emanated by industries that interest researchers a lot. It can solve many problems. Indeed, for years, researchers have been trying to recover CO2 and to be able to reuse it. The answer is menthol, which is produced using CO2 as the main component as its manufacturer. The production of menthol involves two gases, in particular, hydrogen and carbon dioxide. Hydrogen is combined by a reaction called electrolysis of water. This is an easy reaction to separate water from hydrogen and oxygen. As for carbon dioxide, is it obtained from storage systems received from this gas? To produce menthol, we need an electrolyzer that can produce gases in a synthesizer reactor. The reaction takes place in the presence of the catalyst such as the copper or zinc oxides at the temperature of exceeding 250 degrees Celsius. It also occurs under high pressure. In general, the product obtained after these different reactions contains nearly three-fourths of the menthol and one-fourth of water. Distillation then can be required to remove any impurities that may interfere with the proper functioning of menthol. As you can see, Germany's interest in the producing menthol as a fuel lies largely in the reuse of CO2. In fact, an amendment that has been made in the country's climate protection law. The federal constitutional court has moved up Germany's deadline for achieving carbon neutrality targets by five years. Instead of 2050, the date is now 2045 especially since Germany is known to be most industrialized country in the world and therefore one of the major producers of greenhouse gases. It is true that a policy has already been put in place to recover and store CO2 emitted by the atmosphere, but the problem of storing may appear at some point. According to Germany, the solution lies in the production and the use of menthol as fuel. In fact, various projects have already been initiated to help industries deal with the CO2 storage problems. Most of these projects have been abandoned due to their cost and environmental impact. Among these projects, CO2 Brutal is undoubtedly one of the most promising. Many countries such as Iceland are already using this technique to allow carbon dioxide to be returned to more environmentally friendly form. Indeed, the technique allows us to recover carbon dioxide present in the air in storage places. The gas in this is then liquefied to facilitate its burial on the porpoise ballistic rocks. It is at this point that the Earth's then liquefied gas turns into carbonate, which is more sustainable form. This technique has already been used in Germany, but the project is expensive and not profitable in the long term. This is why the country is learning to lean towards more menthol, which could allow the CO2 to be recovered. But the question is whether menthol is really ecological. 
In fact, it is normal to ask the question especially for its use as a fuel. Many car manufacturers have launched projects to produce vehicles that run entirely on menthol. This is made possible by the fact that cars running on this type of fuel are very similar to those running on gasoline. From a technical point of view, manufacturers will have no problem with these vehicles. The construction does not require major changes in the production lines. As the question about the contribution of the preservation on the environment, it is different. Indeed, vehicles using the menthol as fuel do not emit particles harmful to the environment. Here, menthol is considered environmentally friendly. But the rub is the combustion reaction in the engine. Cars running on menthol produce water and CO2. In this case, shouldn't it be classified as a toxic fuel and not green? To shed some light on this issue, we need to go back to the techniques of menthol production. By using the CO2 emitted by cars and the industries for its production, it also produces CO2. In other words, we achieve what is called carbon neutrality. This reduces the emission of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. In addition, previously emitted gases are reused in order to give the earth a little respite. An important step for the implementation of the processes on the industrial scale is underway. The aim is no further developed electrolyzers and synthesizer processes. Thus, Fraunhofer IMWS, operates Hydrogen Lab Luna. As it has a unique infrastructure of a testing industry, it provides comprehensive scientific support. Hydrogen Lab emulates various load profiles typical to sustainable energy supplies. It also offers the mapping of their daily fluctuations. This provides important results for design and cost estimation. And this under real conditions. Despite this, one question remains. Will green menthol really have an impact on global warming in the long term? Or is it just one of the many solutions that are already being proposed? Let's see what happens next. That's it folks, our video is already coming to an end. We hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. Feel free to comment if you have any questions or things to tell us about on our topic of the day. A little click on the blue thumb will also encourage our team to bring more exciting videos. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and click that little notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming topics. Thanks and see you soon on ATEC.